So, hey, Gary, uh, I was working on my estimates and, uh, of course, uh, the video last night, we stopped the video last night saying, hey, that, you know, we really need to replace the bottom. And uh, so I kind of was racking my brain, is there any less expensive way than we can do it? And there may be, may not. Uh, the... Uh, so let me go over the uh, let me go over the options here uh, that you know I, I showed you the two styles of bottom. Uh, the far superior bottom is a 5200 bottom that's done with a layer of uh, first of all with a layer of uh, plywood and then a layer of planks on top of that. So I think no matter what system of bottom we do on your boat. Um, the uh, the Poe Man or the more or the superior with the inner layer of plywood. Um, I think we the first thing that's going to have to happen is basically all the planks are going to have to come off, and I'll show you why. Um, you know I've got so I'm looking at the starboard side. I'm standing on the port side, and we have um, we have a crack in this plank. We have, in the next plank up, we have cracks in two frame bays. So that plank's gonna be getting replaced. If I go to the other side, so we got two planks on that side we've gotta get rid of. I'm gonna take them off. We can take them off fast by core drilling around the screws, but then that means that we have to replace it with new planks, which We've never done a 5200 bottom. Uh, we've seen it done with the old planks, but we've never done one where we reuse the old planks. Then we have the, so that was a, uh, that's the keel. And then we had one plank with, with cracks next to the keel, that's the garbage plank. And then the next one up, we had cracks. Now here we are at the third plank and bingo. Here's where the uh, trailer did the damage to the boat. Well, basically, you know, you got half the boat behind this point and half the boat in front of this point. And so the boat is teeter-tottering on the edges, front edges of these bunks, which means that basically all the weight of the boat, um, if the boat didn't flex and lay down on the, uh, on, on the bunks back here, basically all of the weight of the boat is being held on these two points or at least most of it is. So all the weight from here out is concentrated on these two, the ends of these two bunks right here. So it's no doubt that this plank has cracked and broken through. So now we've got to replace this plank. So as we go back uh, in the boat, we have a crack in this plank. This is the next one out. And then we have battens that are cracked all along here and and back in here you can see daylight through this batten it's cracked through um so we have uh, the, so in order to repair these battens that are cracked the last two planks have to come off so we've justified just now justified we have to take all the planks off of this side all right so then uh we go to the other side uh, we start looking at the other side. We've got the same situation with battens here. We have cracks and you know, your screws, these are basically, this is basically opened up where the screws are placed to hold the, the plank on the bottom. So in this section right here, the plank's not even actually held, not by screws anyway. Um, same thing here. Um, and then we have a crack in uh, the garbage plank right right below my pointer there. We hopefully you can see the crack. Um, and then, uh, so that plank's gotta come off. Uh, and then in order to fix this frame, which has got rot right here, in order to fix that frame, the screws have to come out of that frame where that plank is. So um, again, that plank's gotta come off. Uh, the next plank over has a crack running right, right here, oops right here. So that plank's got to come off. And uh, well, the list goes on. So because um, we can go to uh, the other side and we have battens that are split. Let's 
see here, battens that are split. This is the area where, uh, right here is the area where, uh, is the front end of the bunk, and it has split this batten. It has split, split this plank over here. And um, so now we're at one, two, three, four of the six planks have to come off. We have more splits along here and along here. All right. And then we have, uh, you, you refer back to the one I showed you yesterday too. We have uh, splits in, well, well uh, okay. Whether we have splits or not doesn't really matter because um, we have a cracked plank right here. We have rot, oops, cracked plank right here. We have rot in the end of this frame. As you can see, we have rot in the end of this rib, as you can see. Um, so we've got damage all the way along here. Um, so all the planks have to come off, basically. So now you're, uh, now, uh, and, and then, and that's all also in order to, the planks need to come off in order to access the damage to the frames, which this frame, I'm not even looking at the ones forward because it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, this frame station has damage. It's got rot damage here, rot damage over there. This one has rot damage here. This one has rot damage here. It has a crack here that's been spliced. Um, this next one's actually, hurrah, it's okay. This one, uh, this, this frame is broken and probably, uh, uh, at, at this point right here, pro and that's that's because of the damage from the trailer. Um, well, here's the other splits I was trying to show you. So those two planks are definitely got to come off on either side of the split. Uh, we have we have rot in this frame. So one, two, three, four, five, six frames. We have rot. One, two, three, four could be okay. So that's four, five uh, frames. And we have rod over here where this is separated. These are supposed to be bolted together. Uh, and uh, we have rod here as well. And the frames are separated. So, um, and then as you look over here, we have uh, from this side, you can see rod in the chine at this frame station. And there's also, there's also right down here, rot at this joint between the side stake and the rib. And the list goes on. So uh, the, uh, in order to prepare those frames, the bottom needs to be off and you'll need a new, some of your frames will be replacing entirely. Some of the frames will be repairing um, and um, and really the only way to do it, we can, we can, if it was one frame, we would do it inside the boat, but it's like almost every frame has something wrong with it. Uh, here I am on the other side. Um, the, uh, this joint we have, uh, it's rotted out. This joint's rotted out and broken right here. Um, this joint's rotted and broken right here. So, um, I really can't guarantee that we can bring it in lower than the price. I'm going to send you an estimate for a Poe Man 5200 bottom. And, um, that's probably going to be an accurate estimate for doing all these frame repairs and everything. Um, uh, and uh, we might be able to bring it in for less, but, uh, but, uh, that's a, that's a big if. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to uh, show you the detail of why we're saying you got to have a new bottom. So uh, anyhow, um, and I really can't, I really can't uh, to make all these repairs individually um, would be crazy. Trying to do them from the inside and maintain the existing bottom as bad a shape as it's in. So um, with that, um, I just wanted to explain 
why I've done the estimates the way I have so that when you see them, you're not shocked. Okay, thank you.